another video today I am on campus when I left home this morning it was like around 5 30 a.m. that's probably why I, well that is why it was super dark I woke up at like 4 um, stopped and got me some breakfast and then I headed up here to Orangeburg it's like an hour 15 minute commute but it's a little lengthy but I'm super used to it because I did it like my last three semesters of college so it's nothing to me but I had to be here at 7 um, o'clock and I got here at like 6.45 so yeah I stopped and got me some breakfast from Hardy's and I am doing something that I've never done before in my life like ever and that's going to a hemp farm <laughs> that's why I'm looking all crusty because I was like okay you're gonna be working a day boo so you don't really have to be cute um and that's why I'm about to put these hot behind boots on because it's been raining the last couple of days and so I'm not sure how the grounds at the farm are going to be if it's going to be soggy or whatever whatever but i'd rather be prepared than unprepared <sighs> okay oh, thank you i mean i just feel like they're farmer pro <laughs> i don't know what you're supposed to wear to a farm okay never like really did this in real life before and i got some long pants on to keep these bugs from getting on me i'd be all right I don't know whatever if I'm wrong I'm wrong all right side note really quickly um but people like to say that I'm country or that I have an accent okay we get it I know that I do um because I'm from South Carolina and I'm from the low country and it's just me or whatever but just because I'm country doesn't mean I know how to work a farm or that I live on a farm or that I had to man a farm by myself or tend to one my whole life I've no I've never been put in this situation where I had to get up early go milk the, well actually when I went to Costa Rica I got up early and milk the cow and got eggs but that was the closest thing to like farming I've done um fun fact about me is that I'm into like the Gullah Geechee culture and stuff like that and just I'm a history buff for things that are more so anthropology like basically meaning the culture of different natives and individuals that are native to certain areas and their ways of life or their lifestyle um, especially when it comes to things like natural healing and medicine and things that they did to kind of like preserve themselves in those time periods our ancestors and people like that like people in my family they used to just go in the woods go on the side of the road and just identify a plant and be able to pick that plant up, mix something up, and just tell you to take it and you were better. You didn't have to go to a pharmacy because you didn't have one. Like, they didn't have stuff like that. So it's always been like the interest 
of mine to want to learn and acquire those skills for me to be able to grow my own plants, grow my own medicine, grow my own food, know how to mix whatever up in order to heal myself and heal others around me. I don't know, but it's it's just really, really freaking cool to me. I may be nerdy, I may be weird, I don't care, but it's just what I like. And that's really, really why I'm so excited about going today because I feel like I'm just getting one step closer to where I need to be, where I want to go, what I want to do, like all of that. But just, just watch the video. <laughs> You did? Mm hmm but I'm getting my master's. Okay, so, what you getting your master's in? Agribusiness. Oh, my. Yes. I was a man, uh, agribusiness uh, undergrad. Oh, really? Uh, and I started to get the master's. I got a few classes in it. But anyway, but I'm an actual teacher at South Aiken uh, in high school in Aiken, South Carolina. Okay. 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 Yeah, I got my, I got my master's in entrepreneurship. Okay. About four years well, I teach entrepreneurship, business law, and I've taught yeah. computer class. Okay. All right, so we were using rulers to measure. Um, I have one on top of the car. It's like a visor. <laughs> we were using these rulers to measure uh, like a foot and a half apart, but the guy gave us sticks instead to make it easier. So I guess that works too. <laughs>
Okay, so it's super, super hot out here. <sighs> if this this work isn't for the faint at heart, cause it stink, it's hot, I'm sweating, it flies everywhere, but it's fun so far. Um, the crazy part is that we have to do all of this by hand. Um, so you have to measure and make sure the holes are like 18 inches apart. Then you have to dig a certain depth to make sure you at least are covering the roots of the plant. And then, yeah, it's easy work. It's just tedious and super repetitive. And you only need them a lot. And it's just, the bugs aren't bad. It's just the flies because if you look over there behind me, that's the chicken house. So like all those that whole building is filled with chickens so it's like a big behind chicken coop <laughs> and it stinks so bad but they use some of that to fertilize the plant <sighs> it's time for me to come out here and take a break before all the shade is gone i got my water in my bucket so i can sit down I'm trying to find a spot in the shade i might not know too much but my dad taught me how to identify tracks a little bit and that's either a big behind dog or a coyote or something out here and that right there those are deer tracks that's a buck because it has the, in, the little things in the back right there so that's a male deer and i think i saw some doe tracks somewhere but who cares i'm gonna sit down So being out here isn't horrible. I love being outside. I love the country. I love like, just listen. You hear that? I really want like a big piece of property in my own piece of land where I can do the same exact thing. And y'all, that would be heaven on earth for me, honestly. But it is so hot out here. This is not for everybody. I'm going to tell you that now. And you'll probably be like, why would you volunteer to do something like that? They're not paying me. I just came out here for the experience just so I can learn and, you know, get my hands dirty a little bit, literally. But just so I can kind of get an idea exactly for what it is that I am interested in because I don't know much about it I want to learn more and I have to do the work in order to get to where I want to be so it just made me feel really good about my decision to go back to get my master's in agribusiness and yeah I'm it's just gonna align everything's just gonna happen smoothly and start lining up for me and just like this opportunity fell in my lap out of nowhere the work is hard but it's worth it all right so these are the actual hemp plants that we're planting the trays are like let's see this is 26 going this way it is 13 going this way so each tray is 338 in the truck is about like 60,000 plants 6,000 I don't know one of them but we gotta plant all these Really beats down on you from just being out there all day. 
um and it wasn't that the work was hard it was just that it was hot my name on back hurt them chickens was stank Woo! i don't know if i could go back they want us to come back wednesday i have to i really gotta do my graduate assistant work on wednesday but i might skip i'll go back i'll go back